and welcome to the show. We are here today on GTA 5 for some more racing in the snow and for apparently pushing some cars off. Oh no, we can actually just escape over here on our own. Uh, this is definitely, oh, it's definitely not glitchy and weird at all or anything like that. Oh, and Liam's for. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> we got help to <laughs> come down it. Uh, now, this particular circuit that we are driving on, you may vaguely recognise, uh, because we have driven around a version of it. I uh, see this one is made by Longbow, but uh, this is the kind of reverse layout of a track we drove a little while ago. Uh, there's definitely no jump starts here because the entire track was blocked. Um, it was quite a fast and, and tricky circuit the normal way round, so it's going to be interesting driving in reverse and potentially a bit problematic. Oh, there's has already been chaos through the first corner. Now, these are not the least grippy cars you could imagine, but they're going to slide about a fair bit more, of course. Being in the snow, oh, yeah, there's a gap there. It's not very much of a gap, but there is a gap there. We will bobble the curb. Oh, dearie me. We are all sorts of tank slappering our way up that bit. It's fine. We've gathered it all back up. It's two and three wide, and I'll try and put Stevie back the right way around. Yeah, jeez. Once it starts, once the car starts wiggling, you are just kind of at the mercy of the vehicle. Whatever the vehicle has decided it's going to do is going to happen, and that's that. Uh, someone's going straight into that side. I can almost guarantee it at some point. Not this time around, though. This is going to be a hell of a corner. I got big punt. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> I, I had no control over that one. We got very much assisted uh, into the pack. Considering how badly that could have gone, uh, it actually ended up fairly well. Uh, that is the seriously dangerous corner now. Oh! <laughs> that brace? <laughs> Not sure who it was. Uh, whoever it was has got away with uh, a relative amount of ambiguity. Uh, so we can't laugh at it. It was quite a funny accident, though. Uh, it's going to happen, though. This, that's the sort of crash that we are going to see here. Uh, these should probably be able to bump draft fairly well. I mean, it's not going to be the most effective thing in the world. I had no other options, really. So we will just go with a uh, push. Not that bump drafting in the snow is the best idea in the world, because, you know, control is limited. However, we are all okay through there. Oh, Liam's turned up to the inside. Oh, those two have got connected. You really don't want to end up off the racing surface because you just will have no grip. I mean, there's not a huge amount of grip to begin with, but there's especially, especially not much grip uh, when you are off the racing surface. The you want to be a bit more careful being super aggressive with the curves because the cars bouncing around in the air is actually a real big problem for them. Because you see, I mean, I had the big tank slapper on the first lap, but you saw it again there with cars all over the place. Uh, bouncing across the ground and yeah because in normal conditions the car would get back under control quite nice and quickly but in these conditions it just doesn't that's so much slipstream and so much speed I'm going to really struggle to stop down there Gliska only just makes it someone behind did not uh, <laughs> yeah I mean we were barely making it ourselves Gliska was on the absolute limit and then somebody else just asked too much of their car that is the braking zone that's going to be the real trouble I do not want to be on the outside. As you see there with Ninetales, if I'd stayed alongside Ninetales, we would have been put in a wall. Probably. Uh, that is a narrowing section that someone had a good run. I think it was Danger Man. Uh, had a good run and just had nowhere to go. Well, we are to the inside. We're going to slide, but uh, we will make that work. And the pack's a little bit more spread out. Danger Man will just slip through past both of us, I should think, down here. Uh, not very much that we can do. Oh, Danger Man is going to give us a push, and that's fine. The bump draft is in full effect, and there you go. You can see it is definitely effective with these. Nine Tails is then fighting back again, uh, but it's effective for a bit. Uh, it may come down to, depending on how many wide we are, by the start-finish line, it may come down to that making the difference between winning and so on. Uh, we've got a great run off that corner. Oh, don't think Nine Tails realised we were alongside. We sort of poked the nose, but it was, it was yeah, had to back out of that, otherwise there was going to be an accident. Let's go with a big slipstream, uh, bounces around and slides about. I'm not going to have anywhere to go here. I'm going to have to be content with just biding of time for the moment. Uh, that's fine. We can run wide over there. We'll slide the car about a bit. And that's all good. We've got a good run, but I'm going to have nowhere to go. It's already nearly three wide up ahead. Uh, we will settle for going to the inside. We will settle for the push on Ninetales. 
I'm going to just probably be a little bit cautious down here. We've seen too many issues. We are to the inside. Liam is to the inside of us this time around. But we will, I think, hold second if I can get off this corner nicely, which I can't. We bump the wall. And that's, that's the problem when you get that twitch. Uh, let's go three wide into the chicane. Oh. <laughs> so literally before we started filming this, it was said single file through the chicane. And then we made the joke of we say that before we film and then we go three wide as soon as we start filming. And we've literally gone immediately three wide through the chicane, and we made it work. All of us made it out the other side there in one piece, astonishingly. Uh, we all we all were respectful, we all gave each other enough room. Go, let's go, go, that was maybe a bit... Oh, okay, well, it, it, the Ninetales give us an even bigger hit. So we gave a bit of a big hit to Gliska. <laughs> Ninetales returned the favour, jeez. Uh, is that flat? In the dry it would be, in the snow I'm not 100% sure. Oh. I mean, it's been a very, very exciting race so far. It has been a very exciting race so far. I'm wandering about a little bit down here. They're going to shoot through the middle there. We're going to hit that bump and slide about, but it's okay. All Nighthouse has got all crossed up over the curbs. However, brings it back under control nicely. We're to the outside. So in these conditions, the curb boosting is actually a lot bigger a risk. It's like you can still gain speed from it, sure, but you do run the risk of ending up... Uh, Sort of twitching about and getting very close to an accident. So Glisco will dive to the inside. There will be cars rejoining from our right. Uh, I will be a little bit careful in the braking zone because the slipstream might well be starting to pull us forward there. Uh, ooh, okay, that's not the line to take. It's, you just lose too much bouncing over those. That, that kind of inside curb. Uh, there is a slide from, is that Nine Tails or Danger Man? I'm not sure which. Uh, one of the red cars, or they've all, all the cars have got some red on them, pretty much. It is Nine Tails that is helping us through that corner. We've got an excellent run and nowhere to go with said excellent run. Now we have an even better run, but it's going to be... I can't get around the outside there. It's just not going to work. We're going to follow it and peg her uh, across to the inside. Uh, there is nothing... Ooh. Oh dear, <laughs> it's all got very busy. <laughs> uh, yeah, here we go, and Pega's going to settle to the pushing us towards this section. We'll be on the outside all the way through here, although as we saw last time around, it's not always the worst thing. Longbow's unfortunate. Longbow's unfortunate and ends up pointing sideways across the track. We were, that was, we were useful, there's a word in there I'm looking for. It was helpful for us to be all the way on the outside. Oh, I didn't mean actually squeeze age ran across that much. I'm busy trying to think of words and commentary. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was useful we were stuck out wide because we could actually avoid the mayhem that was going on because we were so far wide and out of trouble. We get a good run on the exit here, but I mean, with me and Danger Man fighting side by side, all this is going to do is just bring the whole pack back into the fight very, very quickly. Here comes Impega and Liam and Ninetales and Gliska's there. Ewan's gone through the middle and Ewan's backed out of it with four wide in the trickiest braking zone on the circuit uh, down there. We will cut back underneath everybody and we'll gain almost all the positions we just lost. Three wide into the tunnel, we will go. Uh, Impega with a massive lead. Oh, there is contacts between me and Ewan, I think it was. Now we're going to go side by side into the chicane. We'll get away with it. Uh, we'll carry the speed on the exit. Now we're going to need to all work together, not let Impega just vanish away into the distance and fight ourselves into attrition over a second place. You will slide through there. And I will hopefully go for the inside and get the position back. Uh, but we're going to have to start getting some slipstream trains going on here. Oh, oh that, that one there will help us a little bit as well. Uh, I can't even really just like, drop back into line here. Uh, we will go up to the, I guess this is the highlight. It is essentially like pack racing we've got going on here in that you've got to sort of pick the line you want. Do you want the bottom line? Do you want the top line? Uh, or lane or however you want to call it. And you kind of, kind of try and go with, with the momentum in some of these uh, down that start finish straight. It's mayhem we've got going on in the snow here with some muscle cars. Very good fun racing. Absolute chaos. We know something, something's going to happen in all of this. Something's going to go terribly wrong at some point. And I'm just hoping it doesn't befall me. Uh, we are on the outside. Blakey had trouble getting through that corner. Did not see what happened. Um, but <laughs> Blakey was was going... I suspect Blakey got a tap somewhere because they were going straight in the middle of a corner, uh, which is not what you're going to need, really. Uh, we are being a bit braver through the middle. Liam's hemorrhaging positions at the moment, but... Uh, Got to get it stopped at the bottom here. Everyone is wide, although I'm on the curb and sliding. They're sliding about over second place. 
And so all, all of my like sneaky dive to the inside was eradicated because I hit that metal pipe a bit too hard and lost all my momentum. We've got an amazing run through here, but I got nowhere to go with it. Here. Oh, it's gonna be scary. We again make it work three wide through the chicane. Oh, this is absolute madness. This is absolute madness at the moment. Well, we're all making it. Everyone's being very well behaved. We're all making it work somehow. Uh, we come on to the motorway. Can I get some slipstream? We want a distant. There's the slipstream that we were looking for. It's a fantastic pull towards the line. Why could we not do that in a couple of laps time? Well, maybe we will. Who knows? That was from quite a long way back as well. So the slipstream pull to the finish line is very much on. From, you know, what were we about? Fourth? Fifth coming onto the... Oh. Uh, I wanted to get back into the, onto the track, but I couldn't because there were cars there. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, I don't know if we drove the next corner. The slipstream, that's interesting and it's important to know, right? The slipstream pull is, is on from like fourth or fifth if you can get it right and everything is lined up nicely. There is mayhem befalling the whole horde of cars as we run up here. I mean, it's so busy that my hitting on the stop sticks cost me a bunch of places. But I'm going to be back in the contention almost immediately. Not doing a very good job of commentary today. The words are being difficult. Uh, <laughs> the racing's too manic, that's what it is. There's a lot of three wide going on down here. Nine tails with a huge dive is not stopping that in time. Uh, we will claim a couple more places. Oh, I, might, I might have cut across the nose a longbow a smidge there. Uh, trying to get into the uh, next corner, and it's just enough to upset the back of my car. It is two by two through the far chicane. Liam leads the way. Uh, we've got a good run, but I've got nowhere to go with it. Oh, well, now Ninetales has made sure I had somewhere to go with it. Oh, that's an unfortunate spin for a Ewan, I think it was. Uh, we get a big slipstream pull in a really awkward place through there, but it's all gathered up again. Uh, now, are we close enough? I, you see, I think this would be through. This is too far back, probably. I mean, we've got a huge amount of momentum. It's a crazy amount of speed as we head on to the final lap of the race. But it would not get to the lead by the finish line on the final lap of the race. There's a Pega trying to look around the outside. We've actually had a nice, neat run through the first quarter this time around. So that's something. We know we're about to get repassed by everything. Down here, there's nothing I can do. The pack is going to come soaring past. But my hope is, is that we'll be a little closer to the front than we were last time around. Because, uh, yeah, from sort of ninth it was difficult. Uh, we are going to try and not put Brazen in a wall. There is some say, some moving around. Have we got any help? It doesn't look like it. We've got cars all the way to the inside looking for a curb boost. We're going to try and make it three wide here. Uh, well, we're going this way. There is space for us. I was really worried I was going to be the car that ended up in the bull. <laughs> <laughs> We've got proper pairs racing going on. Everyone is asking so much. The car's under braking. We're still stuck three wide. It's nine tails on the outside, I think, at the moment. Uh, through all of this, we're going to slip and slide our way through here. And Pega bumped the wall and then bumped Liam. It's now three wide for the lead. We've got a good slipstream run, but no one to really go with it. We're going to end up helping in Pega all the way through that corner. Uh, we have again got a good run on the exit. We're going to slot ourselves kind of into wherever we can at the moment. Oh back end was wanting to let go. We are to the inside through here. Have, we've got a slipstream pull going on, but is it too soon? The uh, leader is trying to break the toe. It's going to be a run to the line between me and Liam. It's going to go the way of Liam. <laughs> oh. Oh. God damn it. That was a great race. That was an absolutely amazing race. That one. That's one of the most fun battles I've had in a GTA race for a long time. Liam claims victory. I will get on the podium. Impega is third ahead of Ewan. And Gliska, Ninetales, Brazen, Longbow, Danger Man, and Level 8 will round out the top 10. Blakey gets fastest lap in 12th. Bloody hell. That was madness. That was great fun. Some really, really good racing in that one. I thought I might have just got it timed right for the run to the line, but Liam had it better positioned on the uh, on the far side. Ah. Oh, a great, great race, though. For our second race around here, we have got the Cy Cypher. It's essentially BMW M2 kind of a car. <laughs> I don't know if it's all-wheel drive. It might be. Possibly? I guess we'll find out fairly quickly, but after an amazing first race, we are hoping that that uh, trend can continue and we can have an amazing second race. Uh, we will be looking the long way round at turn one and two. If we, as long as we don't end up all the way out on the stop sticks, I'm fine with that. 
Uh, we can make these uh, make this outside line work. There's not really going to be much space though. We'll have to bide our time a bit, and unfortunately we're just out of the draft. Blakey gets a better run through the middle, and we will uh, get a decent secondary phase. This might be a little bit more composed over the bumps. Let's not go barreling into the side of Team Orange. That would be that would be a bad start. I mean, we do normally manage to have some friendly fire-related incidents at some point. However, we can try and keep them to a minimum if it's all possible. We get a good amount of citrus. Oh, and Pega's gone for a very big moment, uh, climbing over the back of Gliska's car. No one's really sure where to brake. These are probably going to be better under brakes than... Oh, that's desperately unlucky for Blakey. Uh, Ninetales throws it all the way to the inside, does get away with it. I wonder whether they're going to slide too much going over those curbs, but uh, they did not. So that line there is... is... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, there's a spinning blue car! We've all got stuck in that one. That's just, <laughs> it's just a really unfortunate chain reaction crash, and it's not over. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> it's gone wrong at the start. I mean, there's always a chance of, yeah, there's, there's a chance of recovery. Slipstream catch-up is quite powerful around this circuit. So, you know, there is definitely a chance that we can get... That we should get back into the fight, to be honest with you. And I was just a little bit unlucky. Is once the contact started at such high speed and, and cars are kind of already committed to the corners, like, I can't... I personally couldn't have backed out of that. I tried. I desperately tried to get out of that mess, but there's just nothing that I could do because we were already committed to the corner, committed to our line, and you can't make your car suddenly disappear. So, yeah, we were always just going to be a little bit stuck in that. Um, and it's a narrow part of the circuit. It's probably the worst part of a track to have, to have a crash on, essentially. Uh, because you do end up blocking a lot of cars in and more cars are going to kind of pile into the crash because they're not going to see it until it's way too late. Uh, however, if the four of us are clever here, and if the four of us work together, we should be able to catch back up to the main group without too much of a problem. Because, uh, yeah, with us lot working together, I could have been a lot braver under brakes. Although everyone else brushes the wall and we do not, so, you know, I'll take it. Uh, Definitely need to be more aggressive through there. We've got a good run. Not going to have a look there, though. The reason is, I want Mute to be going as fast as possible, right? Because our best bet at catching up is to slipstream each other. So Mute doesn't want to slow me down into this corner. In fact, as you see, Mute actually pretty much pulled over to let me through. Because now I'm happy to give them slipstream. Right, it turns out it's Gliska that's going to get the slipstream from me. Mute will then get it from me. I'll get it from Gliska. And we'll be back in the lead group in no time. That's the point of this. When you fall this far back, that's what you've got to do. You want to work together as efficiently as possible. And while you will change positions a lot, you want to actually cost each other as little time as possible. It's a slightly different type of racing than perhaps you would see outside of GTA, but because we have the catch-up and all of that, uh, it's the most efficient way of getting yourself back into the fight. So I'm not going to... Oh, I had to try and I wanted to leave both cars room, but inside and outside trying to leave room is not the easiest to do down down that section. Uh, now we're going to get in, stuck into the brawl that is essentially the battle for the lead. Pretty much the entire pack is going to be all clumped together here. Gliska's well has caught the group. No, oh, I can't pull the cars apart. No, oh, once they got stuck, although we're not going to lose too much time. Once we got stuck, I just couldn't pull my car to the left, it just wanted to continue turning although there's been a mess down the bottom and I've bounced it off a curb and slid around. My dog is currently headbutting my chair and trying to spin me away from the monitors. Apollo, and it's not very helpful. What are you looking for anyway? There's no food under my chair. Uh, <laughs> she just wants to be an arsehole. Oh, there's an orange car in trouble over there. Ah, and we're up to 8th. I mean, technically speaking, it's been quite a good lap. What side is Mute going? Not having a look at this corner, so that's fine. I mean, they don't need to worry about it, because, as I said last time around, they're happy to sit behind, slipstream, and pass. And there you go. So and then we'll do the same. We'll get in the slipstream down towards turn 1. We're happy for this, because it'll bring us up into the lead group. Not quite powerful enough to pass Bumpy. We'll brave it around the outside through one, and in fact we are clear by the time we get to two. Overshoot two a little bit, as long as I don't hit the stop six I'm okay with it. Uh, uh, not quite as clear, not quite as clear as I would have liked, but a tiny bit of curve boosting will put us ahead for the moment, but again, we're happy to give the slipstream back, because we want to make sure we catch to the actual, say, the main lead group. Uh, let's not do anything stupid. 
through there. We've got yeah, Bumpy and Mute are going to be lining up. What side are they going? Mute is going to the left. That's fine. I will just stick this way. Bumpy is going to follow us. That's fine. We will give space if it is needed. I think Bumpy might have settled for following it just at this moment in time. There we go. Everybody, everybody gets off that corner without running too far wide. Uh, Liam cut the corner quite a lot and got away without uh, getting into trouble. Yeah, that's that's not going to work. Uh, the one downside we do have when we're in a group like that is basically we were off throttle a lot of the way through there. Um, whereas the leader, for example, can be flat. If you're on your own, you can be pretty much flat through that chicane. I've got a lot of understeer. Mute's got a lot of understeer. Liam has as well. Loads of cars understeering a lot through that corner. Uh, we've got a great amount of slipstream to the inside. Wouldn't be enough to get us a victory, but it certainly is enough to put us into the lead. In fact, into the lead of the race now. Danger Man's going to help us because it's 3x3 three three through turn 1. It's going to be 3x3 three three into turn 2. Can I just take this around the outside and make it work? Brazen's up onto two wheels and Ewan gets turned sideways. Me and Danger Man sneak around the outside of everybody. Uh, that works nicely. Uh, we will take the lead of the race. Level 8 is going to be following. Danger Man will probably stop pushing now. Oh, Liam has fired through. <laughs> it was... Well, I mean, there was space just about there. Um, so I think I got launched more in the air off of the kind of grass and curb than expected. That's why I ended up in the door of my car. Danger Man got a big hit, uh, and Danger Man continues to push the orange car. That's fine. I'm always happy to work together. Sometimes I'm the one doing the pushing. This time around, we are the one being pushed. Uh, it is going to be three wide down bottom here. Liam does move across a little bit. Ewan's going to come across in a really awkward place. We all get stacked up behind Ewan in that one. We will all slide over the curb. Although, yeah, you, you, you don't want to quite slide that far, because that far is trouble. Oh, that's going to launch me if I'm not careful. I have to lift massively. Ewan's had a very big accident, as has someone else. That is two cars rolled at uh, the same corner. They just got too much understeer on the exit of the uh, chicane. I've got way too much understeer through there. So if you're on the outside through that final corner, you are in a world of hurt, pretty much. Stevie's going to get a push from Gliska and Danger Man gets a good run, although Danger Man stalls out. We're across the line, is very close. Liam comes shooting back past. He's going to be four wide into turn number one. It's three wide, four wide into turn number two. <laughs> it's, it's as mad as it was with the gauntlets, just these have a little bit more grip. That's, that's kind of the difference. They're a little bit faster and they have a little bit more grip, but it's not by much. Uh, it is Stevie that's got to the leader race. Glist has gone through the middle. Impega's hovering around. I can just see the white nose of Impega's car there. Uh, not going to have any room to manoeuvre through that section. Uh, we are off the corner nicely with a good good slipstream pull. There is an orange machine I see about. So those involved in those spins earlier on have recovered. Liam tried to climb over the back of us. Not a good idea. Someone's had a tremendous accident. I think that's Danger Man. Uh, back there was flying through the air. I couldn't see. It was unfortunately such an important braking zone. I couldn't really watch and see quite what happened to that car or what caused it for that matter. Uh, my guess is it half fell off the circuit and as the track kind of, as the elevation increased, um, it kind of like uh, split wrapped off the side of the track pieces. Gliska's found, uh, made it three wide in a place that's very not three wide normally I'm that outside line there is terrible I think because it's off camber you just have absolutely no uh Jesus Brazen is so brave because that could so that that could run out of road so quickly but <laughs> in the dance of who is it it's going to be pure guesswork in the dance of who's going to be in the right place for slipstream there you just got to not make a mistake on this final lap and be somewhere in about the top eight coming on to the start finish straight and then not be involved in a crash on the start finish straight uh we are trying to it's just the jostling for position it's three and four wide we're basically pushing gliska all the way down here oh nine tails has got in trouble we've had to back out of it as uh, if we kept pushing i think we would put gliska around uh, aaron is here having a look to the inside uh we are gonna try and make this wide line work it does it looks like you lose time to start with, but then when the slipstream kicks in, you get this really fantastic run. We're going to stick over here with Impega. That's fine. Uh, Ninetales is going to push us, I think, into this next corner. We will try and get the car stopped and turned nicely all back in, wanted to step out through there. Brazen with a good run. Gliska is going to cut the car. See, I couldn't turn in because I didn't know how much corner Gliska was going to cut. 
It is almost three and four wide through the tunnel. No one wants to yield into the chicane. We still make it out the other side three wide. <laughs> oh, this madness. It is absolute madness here. We and Gleska have got a good run through all of this, but we've seen that the runs to the inside, the runs come from further back in this, unless... Oh, this is going to block us. No, no one's going to have a run. No one's going to have a run. No, Blakey's going to have a massive run. Oh, I try. might have mistimed that. Oh, I'm sorry, Blakey. I thought Blakey was going to be clear, and I moved across to get in the slipstream when it was just a little bit too soon. Uh, I think Blakey might have pushed Brazen to victory. They did. <laughs> they pushed Brazen to victory. Brazen will claim it from Leo in second, and Glissa gets third. We will end up fourth ahead of Impega and Ninetales. Uh, Lomo is seventh. Blakey unlucky. That was that was absolutely my bad on that one. I went to tuck in behind to try and get some slipstream to kind of go with, and just did it a little bit too soon. Just misjudged the speed, and unfortunately, yeah, ended up putting Blakey around. <sighs> Outside of that, though, it was another spectacular race. Turns out the reverse layout of that circuit is very, very good indeed. And the snow made it uh, plenty exciting. Plenty exciting indeed. Well, there we go. That is going to be it for this video. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. And a big thank you to Lombo uh, for building this wonderful circuit. Shall be it from me. Until next time, uh, goodbye.